Hello everybody, Jim and I Jets 1272 here. Coming at you guys with a little different video today actually. Um I'm actually gonna be showing you guys some of my baggage. Um baggage, whatever they're called. Um I can't remember what they're called. Oh well. But anyway, I'm like the basically the things you put on your bags today for airline and stuff. So I got five of them right in here. These are the only five I have in my collection right now. It's well it's not really a collection. It's just something I've been I've like gone through like suitcases and stuff and found these. So I'm just gonna like I don't all I can I can remember when some of them are from, but not all of them. And I'll just tell you guys a little history about them. Um and then also there'll be a little there'll be a little bit of channel not channel, airport news at the end. It's not really a big deal, but it's just just a little bit of news. So, um actually let's start out with I think this one right here. So this is um, Mid Midwest Express Airlines, which this airline does not exist anymore. Also, guys, I'm not gonna show you the back of these because that has like the name and the address and the on um, the phone number of the person. These all actually all only like one of these belongs to me. So, all right. So Mid, I'll just do a little close up. Midwest Express Airline Inc. I'm not. I found this one actually upstairs in the attic in my dad's bag, so it could, I'm guessing it's probably from the late 90s, but same with this one, but actually I found, this is Midwest Airlines too, it's, as you can tell, it's very old, this one actually does have this though, this one does not, it got ripped off, so, um, yeah, Midwest Airlines, um, I found this actually when I was like two years ago, I think it was, I was, we were helping my grandma clean out our closets, and I saw this on one of her, uh, luggage or bags i'm like grandma can i have this and she's like sure so yeah that's where i got this one from this one i want to say this was from when i i want to say this was from like 2010 but i think it's a little older than that because this does not look like the so it says delta airlines right and then the delta logo right there the old delta logo actually um i don't know how old it is if you guys can put in the comments how old you guys think this is that'd be great Alright, and this is actually the only one that I've actually ever used. All my other ones got, I don't know, I that, I, that was before I started collecting these or was interested in aviation. So this, I actually, this was in May of 2013 when I got this. So when I went to Orlando. So, hang on, I'm just going to take a look at it. Uh, so, there's something right there It says, revised 2-13. So that would have been February 2013, and then Southwest 310. That might have been our flight number, I don't remember. But anyway, this is the old Southwest. So Southwest.com, Southwest.com, then the ticket after you put it on your bag. This was also from May of 2013, this is when I went to Denver. So, as you can see, there's that. And then, well, actually, maybe, I think this, no, this was a 13 too. So FlyFrontier.com, it kind of got ripped off a little bit. But more cherishes, more perks, more savings. Guys, that concludes this video. And I know it wasn't much, but the real reason why I wanted to do this video was so I could tell you guys the little um, airport news. Let's get a plane to look at. Well, let's just look at this guy. Alright. So, as you guys know, in the last video I said I got a Delta 757-300. Well, actually, um, I, I got it, but then I wanted to see... If I could just replace the Hawaiian plane with another Hawaiian plane, so I actually got a Hawaiian A330-200 instead and did not get the 757-300. So, the Hawaiian will be, the old Hawaiian that I used to fly will be um, retired, will not be in any more airports, and the new one will take all its routes. So, like, that'd be to Honolulu most of the time, maybe Kauai, but, so this plane still stays on its normal route from southeastern Georgia to Prism Aviation Airport. Sorry guys, this video was so short, but at least there wasn't that much background noise. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you so much, guys.